Venkat Mukhin essentially advanced was he, he worked out the number of combinations of the 12 Swarasthanas. One essential consideration was that the each scale had to have all the seven swaras in order. Well, let us look at a scheme of the 12 swarasthanas. We have sa, re1, g2, g1, g2, ma1, ma2, pa, dha1, dha2, ni1, ni2. We need to figure out how many combinations of these seven swaras are possible when you have these 12 swarasthanas. So, just to give you an example, sa, ri1, g1, ma1, pa, dha1, ni1 is a combination, it's a possible combination or we could put this as sa, ri1, g2, ma1, pa, dha, ni. This is a possible combination or but I can do this. Ri1, g2, ma2, pa, dha, van, ni1. This is another combination possible. Now, if you just take the way of just trying to figure out how many combinations are possible. Let us say we have sa, ri1, g1, okay, and we have ma1. With this, how many combinations of dha and ni are possible? You have the first combination possible is dha1, ni1. Second combination possible is dha1, ni2. Third combination possible is dha2, ni1. Fourth combination possible is dha2, ni2. So, which sa, ri1, g1, ma1, there are four combinations possible. So, also with ri1 and g1, four combinations are possible. You have ri1, g2, ri2, g1, ri2, g2 with ma1. So, we have the total number of combinations here with four of these possibilities and four of these possibilities and just ma1 it is 16. 16 possible combinations are there because with each of these combination of ri and ga four are possible. So, four are possible for this, four are possible for this, four are possible for this. So, you have a 16, you have 16 possible combinations of all this sarigama dhani, sarigama padhani with ma 1. The same thing will apply with ma 2. So, we have 16 plus 16, 32 possible combinations of these swarasthanas are there when you want a, a Sampurna scale of 7 swaras. But what Ven Venkata Makhin arrived at was a number of 72. Now, how did he do that? Now, on this method, as you can see, a combination of Re1, G, Re1, Re2 is not possible. You can't have a scale which says, now suppose we number the swarasthanas. This is the first swarasthanas, this is the second swarasthanas, this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, eleventh, and twelfth. So we, we can't have a scale which has a combination of the second and the third swarasthana. That's not possible. Now, what Venkat Makhin did was essentially to make that possible. He 
he reworked the nomenclature of these swaras. He, we speak of re one, re two, and we need a scale to have all the seven swaras. Sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni. We need all the seven swaras. Now, if we have swarasthana two and swarasthana three, then we will not have G. So, in that case, it is not a sampurna scale. So, what can we do so that a scale which has swarasthanas 2 and 3 is also possible? So, this to accommodate this, to make this possible, what he did was quite um, ingenious really. This third swarasthana, he gave it, this is of course re2, but this is also g1. Instead of talking two of talking of instead of talking of two varieties of re, two varieties of g and two varieties of uh, dha and ni each, he spoke of three varieties each of re, ga and dha ni and he distributed it like this on the So, the fourth swarasthana, this is re 1, these two, this is re 2, this will become re 3 or this is also g 2 and the fifth swarasthana will be g 3. So, essentially the second swaras, the, the, the third swarasthana could be either re 2 or g 1, the fourth swarasthana could be either re 3 or g 2 the fifth swarasthana could be has to be g 3. So, also with dha and ni the tenth swarasthana is dha 2 and ni 1 the eleventh swarasthana is dha 3 and ni 2 and this twelfth swarasthana is ni 3 and he gave technical terms for all these which you can see in the slide. The first variety of every note is called Shuddha, Shuddhari, Shuddhaga, Shuddhama, Shuddhadha and Shuddhani. The second variety of Ri and Dha are called Chatushruti, Chatushruti Rashabha and Chatushruti Dhaivata. The third variety of Ri and Dha are called Shat Shruti, Shat Shruti Rishabha and Shat Shruti Dhaivata. Gandhara, we have Shuddha Gandhara, Sadhana Gandhara and Antara Gandhara. Nishada, we have Shuddha Nishada, Kaishiki Nishada and Kakili Nishada. Now, this is the terminology that we even use today. So, with this it is possible to have a combination of 1, 2, 3. Now, of course, uh, this is the first swarasthana, the second swarasthana, third swarasthana can be re 2 or G1, the fourth swarasthana is V3 or G2, the fifth swarasthana is G3, the sixth swarasthana is Mavan, the seventh is Matu. The eighth is Stana is Pa. The ninth is Dhavan. The tenth could be Dhatu or Nivan. Eleventh could be Dhatri or Nitu. And twelfth is Nitri. These are all the swarasthanas. 
that we have scales of some Purna scale, Sari, Gama, Padhani. So where earlier we could have Sari, Ga, Ga, actually Sari, Ga, or Sari, Ga. Now what? Now we can have Sari, Ga. Because this, the third Swarasthana is no Sari, Sari, or it could be Saga. But this becomes a ga only when this is also there. Sa, sa, ri, ga. If this, this third swarasthana were not seen as a variety of ga, then you can only say sa, ri, ri, which then will not give us a sampurna scale. Ga is not there. What he did was Sari Ga Ma Ma The same with Dha Ni Sa This in fact is the first possible scale on this schema in this method that is this is the first possible Mela Sari ga ma padhani sa Which would not be possible except for this way of this kind of nomenclature. This he tweaked with the nomenclature essentially so that this kind of scales are also possible. Now on this let us see how many are, how many possible melas are there. There is this re one and this G1. And we will say we have Ma1. How many possible combinations of Dha and Ni are there? Let us see. This is Dha1, Ni1, of course. Dha1 and this Ni1. Then next is Dha1 and Ni2. Dhavan and Ni2. Then third is Dhavan and Ni3. Dhavan and Ni3. <coughs> fourth is Dha2 and Ni2. Dha2 Ni2 are not possible because they are the same Swarasthana actually. Dha2 Ni2 is the next one. Then Dha to Nitri. And finally, we have Dha three and Nitri. Dha three cannot combine with Ni one or Ni two because Ni one is lower than Dha three and Ni two is actually the same Swarasthana as Dha three. So with just one set of re and ga, v1, g1, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 combinations of dha1, n1, dha and ni possible. So with re1 and g1, 6 combinations of dha and ni are possible. And we have 6 possible combinations of re1, of re and g, of re and ga also. We have 6 possible combinations of re and ga also. So you have 6 into 6, 36 combinations possible with just one ma, another 36 possible with the other ma, the augmented ma, the pratimathyamam as it is called and you have a number 72. This is the 72 Melakatha scheme as propounded by Minkata Makhin in his Chaturdandi Prakashika. An immensely influential work and this idea is firmly entrenched in the minds of all Carnatic musicians for the good and the bad. <laughs>